Love and Hip Hop Season 2, Episode 2 was, eh, it was okay. It was okay. Um, I like, you can tell that the show is getting a little bit, like they got a little bit more coins and stuff. Y'all not paying attention to that. We starting off with John Hosseline. You know, she's sitting in the, in the bed with Stevie. And she's getting up and she going, eh, they got the music playing. She checking, make sure her face right and all that. She, eh, eh, I look good and all that kind of stuff. Hosseline is a beautiful woman. I will say that. I love Hosseline. But um, this relationship with Stevie J, I think it's just all for the money. And I can respect that. If y'all know y'all good, a good pair, and y'all going to make some money, why not do it? Okay? So, I want to talk about that. Because what Stevie J and Hosley were just talking about, basically they were talking about, you know, what's going on. Courtney, you're not coming in right now. Basically, you know, she was like, she's had a, you know, the baby mama drama with Mimi. And she was saying that Mimi looked old in the face. Like, she looked old and she got time. Mimi is a beautiful woman. Um, you know, we kind of got to stop with this whole age thing. When somebody gets older, they don't look good. Mimi is very beautiful. I like her. Um, I just think she's kind of weak, but that might be just because of the show. But, I mean, who cares? So, she was just saying, she's telling Steve J she's sick of that bullshit. And they need to, um, she need to find out what they want to do. Stevie J want his cake and he gonna eat it, okay? And he gonna eat his cake and his ice cream until he gets sick, okay? And he can't function no more. So, uh, you can't have your cake and ice cream. You can't eat both of them. But, so we skip to Erica and Scrappy. Scrappy walking in the house like, like he, like he just got through working a nine to five. Like he just got through doing something to squeeze and I eat. Little Scrappy, you are a grown ass man. Playing around, like it's not even funny anymore. Like you're a grown ass man, you walk around trying to, like, pretend like this whole balling on the budget thing. When you know you're broke, child, you what? What are you doing? You're, I, we're not hearing. You probably doing little shows and stuff for hundred fifty dollars, you know. But I mean, come on now. And it, it wasn't. Is it just me or was Erica looking like she didn't have some kind of? She didn't have some kind of plastic surgery or something. I don't want to. I'm not gonna say she had, but she looked like she just looked like the Geico, the gecko lizard off the Geico commercial. That's why I, was, I thought she was about to sell me some insurance, even though I'm already with Geico. But um, I just, I just didn't really, I didn't really, I didn't really, you know, mm, I don't get that whole relationship. I think, I think Erica likes, I loves Scrappy. Don't get me wrong, but I don't think Scrappy is ready for their commitment yet. So Erica was just basically saying, I want you to meet the mama. So find out stuff real and all that kind of stuff. She talking about everybody don't have y'all. Everybody um is not happy like y'all. Child, y'all not happy. Y'all not happy at all. I can look at your, your your um your bedroom and tell that you're not happy. So let's just go on, go on get it to um Tracy Steele. Yes, Tracy Tracy Steele. Tracy Steele shows her face on the show. She looking good. I I like Tracy Steele. I, I love her voice. I love her voice. She's like, she just so much energy. And I love the fact that she wants to, um, you know, she, she's so concerned with helping her, uh, son grow up. She wants to, she wants her, her baby daddy, her father of a child to be in her son's life, but not be, a, you know, show him all that, that kind of foolishness he being around. And I can respect Tracy still for that. You know, she just basically like, you, you know, you kind of, you got to get it together. You can't be doing all that around my son because I want my son to grow up and be a man. And, uh, oh, father child is really handsome. Uh, Chris Bound DJ, I can't think of his name. I really don't care. Uh, but her son is very handsome. Lidre. Yeah, Lidre. Or Dre or Drew. Little Drew. Okay, that's who it is. And I guess her um, father child name is Andrew. I mean, who really cares? But Trace still, I'm liking her on the show. Um, I'm feeling her energy. Um, I, I just, I don't, I, 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 don't, I don't know what else to say about I don't know if, if like, if we're going to be, like, Tracy Steele. Is Tracy Steele on the show? Or we're going to be singing snippets of her boyfriend. Like, I really not, I'm not really here for her boyfriend. I mean, really, really don't care. But, um, we move on to K. Michelle and, uh, K. Michelle and Mimi talking. And, and K. Michelle, Mimi is just telling, you know, she, they're telling K. Michelle that, Jocelyn has been around her daughter. Stevie J's been having Jocelyn around her daughter at the house, and she's been staying at the house. Mimi, why are you staying at the house anyway? I mean, you just you, you really don't have to. You don't have. I don't feel like you have to stay. At, you don't have to. I just feel like you wanted to. And um, 
Yes, hustling is not. I I would want. I, I don't think she'd be a bad parent, but I just wouldn't want. She cursed like she just snap off, and she don't know how to turn back on. She don't know how to be educated one minute, and she don't know. How, excuse me, I got a brand new shirt on. She don't, she doesn't look like she can be educated one moment and snap back in together. She like she can't do that. But K Michelle had me trip. I love me some K Michelle. K Michelle said. Uh, Hosseline looked like she sleep on mattresses without sheets. I must have fell on the floor and screamed. <laughs> that tickled the shit out of me because I know a lot of people. Well, I don't say I see a lot of people on Facebook and Instagram and they be putting up pictures and stuff. They don't have any sheets on the bed. And my friend the other day, who I I care about so much, love you, um, G. That's all I'm gonna call you. Sent me a picture of this guy. And he was he was just bent over with a bent over on the on the mattress and it had no sheets on it. Like why would you even put a picture like that? Your like a, a sheets that expensive. You don't have to have the five hundred count. But I'm I'm going into a whole nother subject with that crap. But that had K Michelle always had these little one liners, these one zingers that be just giving me the utmost life. And let's move on. And we and we're talking about who is this? Who are we talking about? We're talking about, okay, Hosseline. Because it was just, it wasn't really, it's hard for me to remember all this stuff because it wasn't really too much going on. But Hosseline meets up with Stevie J. Child, how you don't know, what, how, do, what, how do you not have a, a copy of your contract? I mean, you act like you just got a, a contract with Cricket or, uh, well, Cricket don't have a contract, Sprint or C Spire or something like that. I mean, this is your livelihood. Like, how do you not have a copy of your contract? And how do you not know what's in your contract? I mean, that's crazy. Stevie J don't want you to see the contract because he don't want you to see how much money he's going to be pocketing from you. Okay? Child, and basically he does own you because you don't know what he owns. You you don't even have a contract. Mimi, I mean, not Mimi, Jocelyn, for you to have all this, all this street sense, all this kind of stuff going on, you're really stupid in the mind almost because that's important. You should know. Child, I'm going to tell you, contracts will, will F you up. Pay attention to what you sign. I think a lot of us, my brothers and sisters, do not like to read stuff. We just all about signing. And that's why y'all being uh, staying at home that y'all can't afford. Okay, we ain't going to get into that because that was a couple years ago. But, um, child, we moving on to um, Shay. And before I even, now nah, I know I, I know what the purpose of me really wanted to do this video. Child, why in the hell is Mama D steady talking about this castle, um, this this palace, all this this throne stuff? Why she pull up in this this Wiener mobile? Okay, she got a Cadillac CTS. Oh my God! I thought she was a Memphis dope boy with no gas. Child, she talking about she running the palace. Girl, your car is barely running. Okay, cause you one of your headlights was out. Mama D. Mama D, okay, and your hair was laid like wet poodle. So what? Is, what? You said it's talking about this throne, this palace. Child, give this throne and palace stuff. Are you just doing that for fun or for jokes and shits and giggles? Because if you are, it's funny. I hope you don't think you're standing in a palace for real, Gaboo. You stand in an apartment, honey, okay? A Studio One apartment, okay? Love you, though, Mama D, but I'm not feeling that wet wave ass weave. That's a 27.5 piece. Piece, you gonna have to. It's a feast on your head. Look like it. Ah, uh, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it at all. I'm just not. But um, back on hustling, hustling's kind of press. She's meeting up with Stevie J. She talking about some um, I don't know why, but she's meeting up with one of her um marketers or some some person promoter, some woman that helps or whatever. And they ask, they are telling her, you know, you are making all these money, all this kind of stuff, but you ain't got no music, and we ain't got to. And just think about when you get music, the how much money you gonna make. I really don't think Jocelyn's going to make as much money with music. I don't know. I'm hoping that it's some give music. I'm going to give her a chance, but I don't think it's going to be as big as the, her, her promoter thinking. I think her doing these little stunts and shows at, at these um, at these strip clubs and all kinds of stuff and appearances, that's a money maker for you. You know, you, you can sell yourself, but I don't know if you can sell music, Jocelyn. Uh, Jocelyn. I, I hope you do, but um, that's all I, I don't understand. But back on Mama D. Mama D, why is the hell... Uh, you you should be con you should be with your son. You should be caring about who your son loves. If your son in love with Geico the Lizard, let him be in love with her. Okay, stop trying to get him to talk to um the art bark Miss what's her name a muffin. Okay, 
Um, cause that she don't look like dude W. Cause she look like Muffet child. Shay body is banging, 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 bam, 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 bam. But uh, your face ain't hitting on nothing, okay? And she talking about some. He she lost a lot of weight and she is fine. And I mean, yeah, she look good. She got a banging body. She doing better. She her body banging better than Erica. But I mean, Erica giving me more face than um Shay is. So, and I know I'm all off the subject, but I want to talk about, since we're talking about that, Scrappy looked like he was scared as hell when um when Shay came in the room, when Mama D was talking to Scrappy and then rapping. First of all, why he Scrappy? Yeah, yo, we don't want to, I'm going to put the pause. Where is that music playing? Because I, I'm not, I I don't see it here. I, 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 I don't, I don't, the music, I'm not hearing it in, in Memphis, okay? What's going on? He in there rapping, got these, these rings on his finger, like, yeah, bling, bling. Scrap it. Seat. Stadium seating for you and your career, boo. Just enjoy this little show. Get this money while you can so you can pay off your um your debt. So you're going to get some furniture from Ashley Furniture and Ikea and get you some rugs and stuff. Worry about that. But this rapping stuff, leave it alone. Okay? And Mama D talking and she talking all this crazy ass shit. Girl, uh, she must be getting these rhymes and riddles from fucking Dr. Seuss. Okay, because she always in the kingdom and this and that. She is a Mama D heart. Her, her, I don't know her verses or something are the are like a like the Holy Bible and Doctor Seuss rhymes put together. It's just I don't. I can barely understand. I have to read some stuff in the Bible over twice, and Doctor Seuss rhymes. Chad, you got to go back until you fast six year olds to understand them. So it's just like a collaboration of it. Mama D, I, I don't understand what's going on with you, but okay. Um, I, I, I just, I uh, just couldn't. But back when I want to talk about, I want to talk about Mimi going. Um, she's just basically saying, "I'm done. I'm out the done. I'm out, I'm just done. I'm just done, girl, girl." Okay, you should be done. Tell me, I said your pot didn't fill over. I think you said I can't remember. No, girl, your crock pot has been boiling over for the last fifteen years. You should be tired. Okay, when you get so tired of shit, you just leave it alone. You ain't tired yet, boo. Because when you, t I think you, you getting there. You getting there because when you got up, she got up, and she just left. She, you can felt like it was real because. What's the, Stevie J got mad. Stevie, 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 Stevie got mad. He was, he was getting up, and the little the scary dude, he was big, big dude, like he was a marine. He was like, mm, -mm. he was like, get your hands off. Then this little damn, um, <laughs> I can't think of that little rapper, Boosie, little Boosie. I don't know who that was, Boosie or something. Come down with my and with the little do rag on his draw showing. Girl, hey, what you gonna do to this big muscle head ass man? He gonna beat the hell out of your ass. Go sit down. Okay, but um, loving hip hop. I'm really loving it. I'm loving the season because I feel like there's so much stuff going on. Mimi, and, I'm rooting for Mimi. Um, I can't wait to see her cockeyed boyfriend. I like me some Mimi, but um, I'm ready for her to find some real love. Hosseline and Stevie J. I like their charisma that they have together, and I'm hoping that, you know. I, I think it's gonna be some good a good season. Who else? Carly Red and and Benzino, we can just really X them out the show. Cause I I'm really not checking for them. I don't think nobody is. It's been two episodes, and I really don't, I, I just now only reason why I I'm thinking about Carly Red because I got a red shirt from here laying on the on on the on the chair. Okay, and Benzino, child, I, I'm so tired. Of, it, Benzino, Benzino looks like he's missing a couple of chromosomes. Okay, I I don't know what happened in his um. I don't think the egg. Um, I don't think Meosis went through, you know, all the stuff before he, because it's, it's just not, it's a part, of, it's a little Benzino somewhere still in there in his, in his mama uterus, because child, Benzino, no, no God. Um, but Love Hip Hop, all together, it was good. I'm checking for him, loving, it's funny. Um, I ain't got that much. I hope it next season, I mean, next episode will be funny, and um, I'm trying to get the review done fast, but y'all, there's so much stuff going on, like I said, y'all can't promise me, I can't promise y'all nothing, because I got to get this, I got to get this, this bread, got to get this bread, but uh, comment, subscribe, like, share my video, and I'll talk to y'all later, deuces, bye.